Press gangs, forced recruitment. What do you do when you're short of manpower and have a vast naval fleet? Impressment would see the forced recruitment of men into the Navy to bolster its numbers. This was commonly seen with the British Royal Navy during the Age of Sail from the 16th to the mid-19th century because of its large fleet. During this time, joining the Navy was not a career path, and seamen stayed on the ship only as long as the commission. Shortages of qualified seamen, in particular during times of war, was common because the Royal Navy had to compete with privateers and merchants for crews. All three of these groups suffered shortages. The solution of impressment was legalized by Queen Elizabeth in 1563. This cruel method of recruitment was achieved through press gangs, and it was effective. The Admiralty would send out press gangs to patrol the waterfronts and taverns who would look out for idle mariners and deserters. Any resistance could end up in violence. They were looking to collect up all the sailors or eligible men of seafaring habits between the ages of 18 and 55 years. But even non-sailors, known as landmen, were impressed, although rarely. These were often able-bodied vagabonds or criminals who could be taught the skills of a sailor. Living in a seaside town and port cities was a fearful experience because press gangs forcefully recruited around there. Press gangs were known to kidnap victims in the middle of the night while they were sleeping in their beds. Prints from the time even show an armed press gang entering a wedding to steal the groom. Most of the time, however, impressment took place at sea. From a man of war, the press gang would board a merchant ship and take enough sailors to fill out the ship's crew. Seamen were not covered by the Magna Carta, so resistance to impressment could be met with execution by hanging. Once aboard, impressed men adjusted to their new employment over time, whether it was through the harsh discipline or acceptance of the situation. Prize money or a popular commander might also have calmed the impressed sailor over time. Impressment was, however, universally unpopular. When the press gangs arrived, it sometimes caused brawls, riots, and arrests. There were also instances of locals and press gang members being killed. The Greenland Whalers in Greenland Dock, London, earned a reputation for taking on press gangs with harpoons and flensing knives. In 1755, hundreds of whalers attacked the press gang of HMS Chichester, killing three of them and rescuing the men that had been kidnapped. During the mid-18th century, legislation tried to outlaw the impressment of men under 18 and over 55, as well as foreigners, but the situation, as always, was desperate for the Royal Navy, and this was largely ignored. In the Caribbean and Atlantic waters during the late 18th century and early 19th century, American merchant vessels were the target of the Royal Navy for impressment. Britain was fighting the Napoleonic Wars in conflict with France and needed more men to supplement their navy. The American independence was still recent, and U.S. seamen were on their guard. Their accents were still British, and they may have been born in Britain, which in the eyes of the Royal Navy still made them British. As a result, up to 15,000 American citizens were impressed into the Royal Navy. This aggression, alongside other factors, led to the United States government declaring war on Britain, causing the War of 1812.